What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And hey, you already know. He's been teasing this one since for the past two weeks. But as you see, we here with the Chainsaw Man rap Savage with Daddy Fat Snaps featuring Ty Wow Denji. Now, y'all already know. DPS, you know he's always the fact that you know he but it's like this. Anytime when he always promotes another song and such, it'd be funny. But this time with this one, he was just straight up on saying about how Ty Wild was killing it. And just me, we all know how Ty Wild be when it comes to his verses. I just wish that this nigga would drop his drop some songs, but. Regardless, we all know with Ty Wow, he nice with it. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Here we go. And he said this is going crazy. Okay, so first off, we got to talk about the hook. One thing we've always say with DPS, and this is what we always like when he does this. He's, every time when he comes to a new song of his, his songs are, especially when it comes to the hooks, they are always going to be more different than the last one. Because... And even if it's he has a feature on the hook and such, even if he do, even if it's the feature doing the hook, regardless, the hook, he basically with DPS he always knows how to make sure the song be different than the last one. Cause if it sounds like it's the same old thing, people are saying he's gonna be complacent and such. But now with DPS, this way him and to be honest with Rustage too. They're, those two are like the main ones and such in Nerdcore that be doing some different stuff. Not to say the others don't too, but with always trying to be different with their music and such, I feel like them two do it the better. And with DPS, for shit sure, he does it when it comes to trying out new styles, new flows, and new help voice effects and such. Definitely he does it. Sometimes it may work, sometimes it doesn't. But to me honestly, they do be working. Okay, Ty, let's go. Cold blooded killer, thriller, killing Mike, call the pain, sinister, suicidal, see, I sent for simple sensations, I sight stop the same spot. And this the thing with Ty now. This nigga is... One thing you know with Ty, this nigga always knows how to just come in just smooth as hell and with the rhyming. Just with the rhymes. Like, bro. Man, the motherfucker might go. Listen to the room. Saying ice cold blooded killer thriller killing Mike for the pain sinister suicidal see I sin for simple sensations see I sin for simple sensations are a sight not the same spike for the spike foolish ones and these coolers trying to be free and find shit to y'all who is y'all to me food I'm trying to eat see me moves from keeping cool to copy please lose enough for me how you get clown by a rookie you coward and cowards can't push me I'm pushing for power and pussy you pussy and powerless bullets don't shout I'm pushing for power you pussy and powerless Hold up. 
He said, I'm pushing for power and pussy, you pussy and powerless. Damn. The, how can you just flip? The, look, Ty Wilde is a, just another type of rapper where he would definitely fit into the mainstream. Like, honest to God, he would definitely fit into the mainstream with his type of, in a way, complex rhyming and such. For shit sure. I get clowned by a rookie, you coward and cowards can't push me. I'm pushing for power and pussy, you pussy and power. This bullets done showered and shook and it's shock and I spin and they blind like a tropical typhoon. Dog got a beam when I ride through all they gon' see me. Pop on a team, he bomb double beam and the head clean off of you. Squan she on my daughter's fiends, get y'all crossed out, crossing me. See y'all thoughts cloud hollow when you wanna pop out, nog and leak and no oggy is barrel on a glock. You see, I'm feeling fair when I rhyme a reason and bang bang and they don't can't take any more fate. Taking control, chain straight, but I'm throw pulling straight on a chainsaw blade. Get you work on that thing. I just came in and just freaking said, nah, DPS, this is my song. And that's the thing with Ty. He always knows how to steal the show. Even though this is DPS's song, Ty always... Basically with this, if anyhow you feature Ty while on either a song or a cypher or whatever, he's gonna find a way how to steal it from you. Because even if you might have like the most interesting such, he might, you might start uh, getting interested at first. But as soon as when it's Ty Wow's turn, somehow or another, let me fix y'all real good and such. Make sure y'all see the old bit. Somehow or another, this nigga gonna steal it. <laughs> he gonna say like, oh, it's sweet that you think you did better. But let me snatch that from you real quick. Like, like crazy. You see, I'm feeling fair when I rhyme a reason and bang bang, and they don't can't take any more fate. Take a control chain straight, but I throw pulling straight out a chainsaw blade. Get you working on that tackle. Getting in the way of a three blades, motherfucker. Hey, I'm just talking that fight to. Hey, I'm making you run for your loop. Hit a ring ring when the ring down, motherfucker. Hear a ring ring. That ring ring, the chainsaw. Mm, hold up. And this whisper, it's like with it has like this yin yang twins that whisper song and such. But with the get you the what that what that sounds like to me. It's just so unique. I'm about to lose my grip. Show you what happens when I pull like this. Mm. With the devil, let me move my hips. You ain't never seen a motherfucker move mm. like this. Tough crowd, I can take a look the room like this. Chain do si do the whole room like that. Chain do si do. Chain do si do make the whole up. What you said? Never seen a motherfucker move like this. Tough crowd, I can take a look the room like this. Tough crowd, when you think that. Hold up. Nah. With, and now with DPS now. I said about Ty coming in with bars and such with DPS now. He gonna come with some bars, bars now. Dancing with the devil, let me move my hips. Dancing with the devil, let me move my hips. Never seen a motherfucker move like this. Tough crowd, I can take a look the room like this. Chain do si do the whole room. Chain, chain do si do the whole room. Like that guy talking that pew my jits, you long talk. That guy, that guy talks me pew my jits. Shout out to Mo. Talk that. Since when deep, wait, DPS, are you from Florida? No, wait, no, he's not from Florida. He's from, I forgot, he's from Long Beach. Long Beach, Wokage. Oh, did I say Wokage? My bad. Long Beach, Wokage, for a journey from the West, boy, gotcha. Bro, anytime when I hear it, anytime when I'm thinking of DPS, I could just remember the first time that I heard him was on Screwface John's freaking Goku Vegeta. To, and to be honest with y'all, right? To be very honest with y'all, I should have read from the minute that I heard the minute when I reacted to Schoolface John's Goku Vegeta and I heard Rustage and DPS's verses and knowing how they went hard as hell, went fire on it, I should have immediately, immediately reacted to their songs there and there. 
But hey, like I said, better better late than never. Cause either way, it just showed me the evolution of how nerdcore is and how fire this community is. But lady, happens when I pull like this. Dancing with the devil, let me move my hips. You ain't never seen a motherfucker move, move like this. this. I'm proud. I can the room like this. Can't don't see the whole room like this. that guy talking that pew my dick. You long talk to your pew like make a dog bark with some booze like this. Damn. My shit. With the right set and the right hips, you could point. I don't care who I hit. Real ball when they crew like six, turn six, six, and a three, three, and a real ball turn a real life bitch. He's real dead. He ain't realize it. Got a real. The whole, the way how he's just flipping real into real life. Like, oh, look. Sorry about that, y'all. That was my phone. But hold on. Let me see. The way how he's just put flip real like three times or so. Set in the right hips, you could point. I don't care who I hit. Real ball when they crew like six turn six six and a three three and a real ball turn a real life bitch. He's real dead. He ain't realize it. Got a real splitter, split your dome. Hell bound, bound. Hell to punch a ticket, get you home. Same story, different chrome, different hundred. Same story, done them. Dogging them long before the chainsaws in them. Used to want bomb bitches, now I'm dropping bomb bitches. Used to want bomb bitches, now I drop bomb bitches. Bomb bitches like the, that girl is the bomb. It's so, that is such a weird way of when back in the when well, I say back in the day I was even though I was born two thousand but that's literally what people back in the day who basically one of those old pickup lines were saying like you what you're the bomb that like basically what you call women and such how most players and such would call women and such that the bomb bitches and such. I don't know. <laughs> so we done them, dogging them long before the chainsaws in them. Dogging them long. Literally, because they say he got a dog in them. Pause. That's the one bomb bitches. Now I'm dropping bomb bitches. Brawlers, bronze on my wish list. Mikey, my she might get this. <laughs> what happened? Fuck you, mean. Might just call me still <laughs> the way I. Ass. This nigga just Kanye this again. I swear, whenever DPS switches up a beat. You know for a fact, this is, he's done throughout this entire year, right? If I'm not mistaken, he done it before. No, yeah, he's done it. Basically, he's done it this entire year. Every single time when this mess, well, almost every single time, because I can remember one, one or two songs that stick throughout the same entire beat. But almost every single time throughout this entire year, when this man switches up the beat, it's like the second verse. It's like the second part of the beat that switches up. It be more fire. And everything he says afterwards throughout the second beat switch, it be fire. Like, what the hell? The one bomb bitches, now I'm dropping bomb bitches. Brawlers, bronze on my wish list. Mikey, my, she might get this. <laughs> Might just call me still the way I drill a team. Crypto sheet is covers every surface when I get the beam. I don't need a milli, bitch. I'm walking with a different lean. Folded AD. I don't need a milli. I be walking with a different lean. Milli. Hold on, hold on. Run the back. When I get the beam, I don't need a milli, bitch. I'm walking with a different lean. Folded ain't the only thing you answer when you hear it ring. Feeling ill. Phone ain't the only thing you answer when I let it ring. Cause the phone when it rings and such, but the chainsaw. Mm -hmm. All right. With a different lead, phone it ain't the only thing you answer when you hear it ring. Feeling ill, you fucking with a G. Now G's are always in the front. So listen, youngin', when you fuck up, that's the guillotine. I don't need. Hold up. Run that again. Cause this is when you this is when you know DPS really knows. Hold on, y'all. I'm sending a message about somebody. Like one of my friends. But this is when you know DPS is like a real It's basically like this. When he said in his 300 k special two years ago and such, right? He he comes from he was born in the gutter and such. He knows about his real shit. So you know. So you know he come, he has to come with his side of gangster on it and such. To me, this is how I know DPS knows his gangsterisms and such. But then again, 
But the thing is, the the if y'all follow DPS on Twitter and mostly Instagram too, and the way how this nigga is broken broken himself up, right? Y'all forgot this man used to be a bodybuilder. Yes, Daddy Fat Snaps not only played basketball, but he used to be a bodybuilder. Crazy. But all I gotta say is this is why I be called this is why I'm calling him the godfather of nerdcore, cause nigga. The way how he built up and such on Twitter, yeah, he look like he the type of nigga that will whoop your ass and still spit about chainsaw man or or Goku or whatever. You answer when you hear it ring Feeling ill, you fucking with a G Now G's are always in the front So listen, youngin' when you fuck up That's the guillotine I don't need the Smith and West to blow you into smithereens Yo I don't need a Smith or Weston when I blow you into smithereens. A little chest and bet your pet is on a killing spree. Walking on a tightrope, getting in the way of the three blades. Motherfucker might go psycho. Talking big talk, then you wonder where your life go. Brawling with a killer like me, I don't like your chances. You don't want me, I'm a savage. Messing with a killer like me, I just might go mad, I just might go mad. See me on the scene and your life gon' vanish, little bitch. Nah, I want get, I want that, I want that little section again, cause he was just, he's, he was just literally talking you down, like trying to be intimidating to you, like that's the type of freaking. Yo, it's like this, right? That's the type of pro. Like type of boldness alike when they're, when somebody's really about that action. Not no this not no talk not no internet talking all that. Now nah, when because DPS is literally like he's walking you down. Like before he starts whooping your ass, he's gonna talk to you down and then whoops your ass. Like that's the, the way how this is. Show a little chest and bet your pet is on a killing spree. Walking on a tightrope, getting in the way of the three blades. Motherfucker might go psycho. Talking big talk, then you wonder where your life go. Brawling with a killer like me, I don't like your chances. You don't want me, I'm a savage. Messing with a killer like me, I just might go. This way you just gotta. Let's just do this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but that's literally how it gotta go. You don't want me, I'm a savage. Messing with a killer like, like me. me. I, I just might go mad, I just might go mad. See me on the scene and your life gon' vanish, little bitch. <laughs> the bad scientist of Nerdcore. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? He did it again. Every single time when it's DPS, when DPS switches up the damn beat, the second part of it just becomes more savage. Like, what the hell? He can't keep doing this and make it be so fire. Hey, either way, I know this was a long reaction, but... Fuck it, I don't care. Shout out to DPS, shout out to Ty Wild. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.